lovelies welcome back to my channel I hope you're all happy and healthy today I'm going to be sharing you with you some tips on what I've learned since I've started planning so if that interests you and you'd like to see it be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and we'll get straight into the video okay so before we get into the video I just want to say that yes I know I have been away for a little bit longer than intended but it's very hard to get back into the rhythm of things not only that hubby was on leave so I really wanted to stay the extra time off of YouTube and spend some quality time with my husband while the kids went back to school and yeah um, and, and today it was just like another day where he was still home plus the kids <laughs> because it was a holiday and uh, well now I am finally recording and I thought you know what I really should probably put something out uh, but I know that you have been asking for this one which is tips on what I have learned since starting planning and I'm just going to show you I wouldn't sh not show or maybe I show I might show something but I'm going to share with you um, some of the things that I have learned when yeah I started planning so the first one that I'm going to say is that you don't need everything you see from others just because you see it it does not mean that you need it yes it may be pretty but it doesn't mean it'll work out for you so don't copy other people. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. I am one of those people where I find someone and then I'll obsess over their, their styling, the way they plan, you know, the things that they're using. And I, I feel like it's just only human that we all do this. And we do this a lot. I, I mean, I'm not the only one who does this. Um, if you don't do that, good on you. Um, <laughs> but for those of us that do do it, I am one of those people. I, when I find something that I really like or, you know, see something that is working for somebody, I want that in my planner. So I'll try and in a sense, copy it. I don't do it anymore, but that's what I used to do. And honestly, I'm glad that I kind of stopped doing that because in the end I found what actually truly works for me not to mention I spent so much money <laughs> I wasted so much to be honest uh, on trying to basically fill what I thought was meant for me but really wasn't so yeah that's all I can say is that is one of the things that I have definitely learned since I have started planning is that you don't really need it but just make sure you you know do some research wait on it for a little bit longer rather than impulse buying um, but yeah, so do not copy others. That's one of my biggest tips I could probably say is definitely try and find what is best for you. The second tip, uh, since I have started planning is that sticky notes are a multi-use tool and I cannot tell you how much I love sticky notes. I have a collection of them. If I had more, I probably would have more um, <laughs> and just can't, you know, spend the money all the time on sticky notes. I mean, I could, but you know, I'm, I'm not made of money, but you know, you, you can use sticky notes for notes, highlighting stuff, tabs, d decor. You can even use it for a pop of color. I will show you a couple of, uh, you know, examples of how I use it. So how I use sticky notes, as you can see over on the side here, yes, I've changed my planner again. I know I keep doing it. So these are like little sticky note tabs that I've made for when I want to use them as a weekly thing. I'm, I'm thinking of bringing this back into my planning. So we're at that stage again. <laughs> uh, and for another way of sticky note writing, we jot down notes, you know, to do notes. Uh, and as you can see there's more notes here I have highlighted the lettering here because it draws my uh, you know attention my eye to it kind of thing I did however have on the side actually I'll show you this one up the back make sure I don't show anything else so I have this on the side here as a little tab and as you can see I've got another little tab I've got another little tab here as well I use them for tabs in, in my planner like crazy uh, and for a pop of color let me find it so this is the pop of color I was talking to you about it's it, I don't know sometimes I mean I did write on this 
but you can just really change it up and do something really cool on the front where you've got this part here. Um, you can even pop it on the front of this kind of thing. Just change it up a bit with the sticky notes. I mean, sticky notes you can use so much for anything. And as you can see here as well, I have uh, a sticky note that I've written on as well and just chucked it in this um, area of my weekly view. I think it looks really cool. I love the fact that it gives a pop of color. It's also round. You can get so many different shapes and sizes in the um, sticky notes. I've even got them at the back here. So I've got the round ones there and then of course on the back here I've got some of the square ones. I'm missing the other part because I haven't replaced them. But again, like I was saying, you can use sticky, sticky notes as a multi-use tool. I, back then, used to just only use them for notes. I didn't realize that you could use them for so much more, and I'm glad that the longer I planned, the more I knew about sticky notes and came up with other solutions rather than, you know, thinking I needed dividers. And in the end, I started using them as tabs, and it worked. So, uh, yeah, that's another... Another great thing that I have learned since I've started planning. I'm going to just leave it here because this looks really pretty. So I thought I'll just give you something pretty to look at. <laughs> so the third thing that I would say is that uh, stickers break the monotony. Now, if you're a stick person, yes, go crazy with your stickers if you really, really want to use them. But if you're a person who's not a very decorative person. That's okay. But I'm telling you, you once you introduce stickers into your planning system with the way you style it and the way you, uh, you know, um, process things, it just works. And I will show you right now. In, this is the way I use my little stickers. As you can see, this is the monthly view. I'll even show you the one for April. So this is the way I have set it up. The gray ones are bills and the pink ones are for afterpays. I know I'm crazy with money. Uh, but yeah, so this is what uh, I use the stickers for. Not only that, you can do it in your planning for the week. You've got your beautiful transparent sticker stickers here. You've got these little to-do ones, an appointment. I've even done them as a little decorating kind of system where it just works. And I don't know why it works. It just looks so pretty. And that's what I love about putting uh, stickers in as well. Um, I'm not sure if I've... So I've di I did some washi there, but that's not what I'm trying to talk about. This. This is what I'm trying to talk about. So, you know, you don't have to be like always so strict with things. I'm not going to lie. I do like this so much better. I don't know why. I mean, even if I did chuck a little tiny sticker up here or down in the corner, it would look really pretty, but it breaks it up a little bit from being so stern with how you plan and how strict you have to be. Because, you know, it's what makes you feel good as well. So I think sometimes a beautiful little sticker here and there makes your planning look so much better. And that's what works for me. So and that's why I want to suggest it for other people as well. Okay, tip number four of what I have learned is that good quality inserts give your planner life. And I cannot tell you how much I am so happy that I decided to do this. For the longest time, I used those crappy pieces that I used to get from, you know, um, you know, from the cheap shops or from, at the time, Kiki K, and their stuff was, you know, it was okay, it wasn't too bad, but because it was cardboard, it would get damaged very easily, very quickly, and I just, it just really upset me. Uh, and that's when I found May Paper Co. As you all know, I'm totally obsessed with May Paper Co. If you are interested, the link will be down below. I have a discount code with them, so go check them out. Uh, but yeah, good quality inserts give your you know, your, your plan of life really. And I'm not just talking about inserts. I'm talking about dividers. Uh, and I'm just so glad I changed from Kiki K to May Paper Co. I'm sure there's other amazing shops out there that do that kind of stuff. But for me personally, I found May, May Paper Co and they have been just amazing and I think that I will probably never ever change because of how much I am so addicted to them and how 
it works for me per perfectly. So yeah, and I just love the, the feel of the inserts. I love the style of how she does everything in her... her what, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Just the way she sets her uh, inserts up. They just look absolutely gorgeous. She has so much that she comes out with every year, every month maybe. <laughs> um, but I just think a good quality uh, set of inserts or dividers and stuff in your planner, just it just makes it that just one step higher, you know, that just just luxury it makes you feel like a rich person you know when you have good quality things in your planner I can't explain it but that's what it is all right and lastly for the fifth one it is start over if something isn't working take it out and find what does for you now I <laughs> I used to think that I had to have all this stuff and keep it and I couldn't get rid of it and I really chalked my planners up like crazy but now I realize that you know what if something isn't working I literally start all over I take everything out and then I pop back in slowly sitting down even if I run Write it down on a notepad thinking okay do I need this is it working for me am I using it and all those kinds of questions that really run through your head like crazy at the you know 3 a.m. in the morning and uh, yeah it, it's okay to start over because sometimes starting over helps you in the end so there you have it lovelies I hope you all enjoyed this video on the tips on what I've learned since I've started planning I hope I answered you know some of the questions that you were asking about it uh, and I hope it helps you gain a little bit of um, inspiration from this as well so let me know in the comments below of whether this has helped you and what you're going to do with your planning system or tell me actually what have you learned since you've started planning? Thank you for taking the time out of your day in watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also don't forget to be positive and give love. Bye.